so in this video i am going to discuss a simple calculator program for you and explaining you line by line that how it will work now note that this calculator program is not so efficient as your normal calculator because here we will take two integers and calculate their sum difference product division and their remainder of the division so here we are limited to that two numbers only and only on that two numbers all those operations will be performed so to get a more efficient calculator we have to learn something new concepts of C programming that we will learn in our later videos for the time being for just clearing your some basic concepts of C language I am discussing this program do not take it that this C program is the most efficient it is not so efficient it will only work for two integers and for that two integers it will calculate all the operations so come let's begin it so see this program this is a simple C program for a calculator let us perform calculations in C now so I will explain you this line by line and side by side you note it down so I hope so these two statements are now very much clear to you the header statements has include stdio and conio then comes the main function at this opening brace the main function is starting and here it is ending okay then in this statement I have declared integers integer declarations are declared using int a number a b sum is equals to 0 product is equals to 1 difference is equals to 0 division and remainder so after this int statement what will happen exactly in memory is a memory for a will be created a memory for b will be created a memory for sum will be created a memory for difference will be created a memory for product will be created a memory for division will be created a memory for remainder will be created now note here I have initialized some product and difference to be sum as 0 product as 1 and difference as 0 sum as 0 difference as 0 and product as 1 why I have initialized before because so that if any garbage value is not assigned to them garbage value is any useless value that comes itself in the memory locations if that memory is allocated before to any variable then that var variable memory is copied there so to avoid that mistake so that our result is not affected I am writing 0 0 and 1 in their respective places why because if we add 0 it is of no use it will simply not affect our answer but if some garbage value is present here that will definitely affect our answer similarly in difference also and product if we multiply anything by 1 it will remain same but if we multiply anything by that garbage value that is already present that will alter our answer 1 will not alter our answer so using this int statement I have declared these memory locations in the RAM of your PC now the next statement is printf enter number 1 that means after this printf statement on our console screen enter number 1 will be printed in white color then your computer will wait why it will be wait because the next statement is a scanf statement till the time you enter some value that has to be assigned at the address of a and that value must be an integer so till the time you enter some integer that is to be stored at address of a your computer will wait so let us say I have given 4 as input and pressed enter on the console screen after pressing the enter the program will resume to this line printf enter number 2 now again our PC will wait why because the next statement is scanf statement until the time I enter some value that is integer and that has to be stored at the address of B so let us say I enter 7 7 is stored at B and then I press the enter key so when I press the enter key after in getting the input for B this this statement will execute these all will execute but first this will execute sum is equals to a plus b now what is happening a is having some value 4 and b is having value 7 we only work with identifiers while doing the operations please note it down so a is the identifier for this memory location and b is identifier for this memory location and sum is the identifier for this memory location so we are working on the identifiers only a is having value 4 
b is having 7 so basically 4 plus 7 that is 11 will be computed and it will be assigned to sum how because this is our assignment operator equal to in c language is called as assignment operator and assignment operators works left to right a plus b is calculated and its result is assigned to sum it is working left to right please note it down assignment operator will always work left to right similarly product 4 into 7 will be computed that is 28 and 28 is assigned to product and product with whole value 28 here sum will change its value from 0 to 11 and product will change its value from 1 to 28 okay this is how it is working difference is equals to a minus b a is 4 and b is 7 so 4 minus 7 is minus 3 so difference is assigned with the value minus 3 0 will be replaced with minus 3 this is how calculation is working division is equals to a by b now 4 by 7 now you may think that 4 by 7 whenever you divide 4 by 7 the answer will be 0 point something okay the answer will be 0 point something but we have taken division to be of integer type that means 0 point is a real number a real number cannot be equal to an integer a integer is something whole but a real number is a fractional number so as division is of the kind of integer the data type of division is of integer so only the integer part will be taken integer part is 0 and this something part will be discarded of and division memory will hold 0 only why because see this now again if the division operation was 7 by 3 now 7 by 3 is something 2 point something okay then this 2 is the integer part and point something is our fractional part so as we have to take only integers why because our memory is declared of int type that means we can take integers only so our division will take 2 only not 2 point something that will be exact answer so it will hold only integer so then in that case here 2 will come but here now 4 by 7 is 0 point something so only the integer part 0 is going there and fractional part is discarded off this is how integer memory declarations work okay then there is rem rem is used for calculation of remainder now whenever you divide a by b what is the remainder this is the statement exactly saying this percentage sign is called as modulo operator m o d u l o u s this is modulus but we pronounce it modulo so what modulo operator does is it takes a and it takes b divides a by b and does not return you the quotient it retain, returns the remainder suppose see this we are dividing 4 by 7 why because 4 is in a and b is 7 so this will be division like this 7 0 0 and 4 is the remainder so this is what you got in the division we discarded of the fractional part then this is the quotient division is getting the quotient that means this symbol will return us quotient and this percentage symbol will return us remainder modulo will return us remainder and this division symbol will return us the quotient this is more simple to understand so if you divide 4 by 7 then 0 is the quotient that will go in this operator a by b so here division is 0 but here remainder is 4 so if we write a percentage b it will return us the remainder so remainder will get 4 because remainder is 4 here and quotient is 0 here so division is holding 0 this is how a by b and a percentage b work together i hope these operations are now clear to you i will tell you the operations in more depth once you please complete this example now due to shortage of space i have written the rest of the program here printf slash n sum is percentage d double quotes close sum now what will happen uh, you are familiar with this statement if you discard this slash n consider this much only 
sum is percentage d comma sum so this much part is in the double quotes that means sum is will be printed as it is and in place of this percentage d the value stored at the identifier location sum will come here this is the same printf statement that we studied in our last example where we studied about how to get the value of a from the user and then display it similarly we are assigning the value to sum here and then displaying the value of sum so this percentage d will get some integer value and that integer value will be given by this sum comma is used as a operator here there is one operator in c comma operator comma operator assigns the next identifier value to the previous identifier value so percentage d will get the value from sum similarly here percentage d will get the value from difference percentage d will get the value from product percentage d will get the value from division percentage d will get the value from remainder so this is how percentage d will be replaced by the values written after the comma and note this double quotes ends here only before the comma it is not carried forward after the comma double quote has to be closed before the comma and after comma we have to write that variable name that we have declared here so that its value can be assigned to percentage d so why i have written this slash n slash n slash n all the slash n's in printf statement so slash n is basically used to return the output in the next line suppose here we have done some task and then we want that sum should be printed in next line so slash n will cause our cursor to move to the next line on the console screen you please carry out the practical implementation of this program then you will get your concepts more clear how slash n is working and how this division and remainder is calculated using this a by b and a percentage b so this was all about the program now my main motive of the program was to explain you about these operators plus star minus divide and percentage now i will carry forward with the topic of operators in the video of tokens in c i told you that we will keep the topic of operators for later but now the time has come that i should explain you how and how much type of operators are there in c programming and how each of the operator work in c programming so let's now consider again the topic of operators and i hope so you have got something in this video to learn about but please run this program in your pc you will get your concepts more clear and now i am taking about a video for operators now here you wa i want to tell you something that i have taken a b sum product difference div and rem so there is no hard and fast rule that you have to take these names only you can take names of your choice you can take num1 or num in place of a anything you can give as the identifier name but any name you give it must follow the rules of identifier that i have explained in the first video so names can come anything that is of your choice not necessary that you have to write sum product difference division and rem you can write simply c d e f g also okay and i hope this slash n is also clear by putting this slash n every output is moving to the next line like sum is will be printed in one line then in next line difference is in next line product is in next line quotient is this is how slash n works so i hope it is clear to you so i hope this example is now clear to you and you can run this program successfully on your pc as well please give it a good hand in your pc so that you get more clearer concepts on the basic part of the c programming language and you may get ready to move further with me so if you like my explanation and like my video please hit the like button please share it with your friends and please subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed it yet and one thing if you want any doubts to be cleared for you personally then you can ping me on the email address that is mentioned in the description of the video and you can get free notes also by pinging me there thank you have a nice day